hello and welcome to my channel today i'm going to share with you how you can make money while you are teaching whether you are deciding not to continue teaching because you don't want to get vaccinated or because for whatever reason you can still make money so one way i could consider for you to think is to create a website uh, or a blog and i'm going to explain exactly how you can do it the benefits of making a website is just you can make money through affiliate links you can also create a call to action every time you write a blog every time you write a post that is interesting to whether it's for teachers whether it's for parents whether it's for whoever is interested to actually learn how you create a lesson for example this will be something for you to think of as your audience another way i also believe that blog posts do make money through ads Ads, Google Ads and basically you have them pop up in your blog so whenever someone visiting your blog they will just see the ad if it's interesting to them they will just hit it and you will get the commission so I'm going to share with you about how other teachers are using a website in order to create a commission for themselves or as a side hustle or whatever that is that can still make money they sell worksheets they sell toys, they sell projects, posters, lesson plans, and you can get a lot of ideas from teachers.com and you can create it very nicely with your with your link on it so people can go and follow you and purchase from you. Now to start you will need a website. I recommend to do a one page website which is not so bad if you're not a tech savvy. It's called Bookmark. Bookmark has features for people who are not really tech savvy. It's everything drop and drop. And if you need tutorials, you can watch them on YouTube. So bookmark is something you should consider. Then when you start writing your post, you need some images. Um, I recommend images to get from. You can get images from Design Cap, from Canva, from Pixie Stack, from Ivermix. There are so many of them. I will mention them in the comments, the links and also in my description so if you have any questions of how to get images or stock photos you can just get it from there you can also create worksheets and lesson plans with microsoft word if you are familiar with that that's also good but if you want something much branded much nicer much advanced i would recommend to go with canva canva has a lot of templates for you to choose there's a lot of images you can choose as well and it can make you look more professional as a teacher than to have someone who is just boring with black and white with microsoft word every time you write a blog make sure it is relevant to your reader so let's say you are you want to share a lesson plan template you want to sell it so you want to make sure to and to explain the lesson in a, as a blog and also how it's beneficial to use your template. Using that template also creates, um, you create at the end of the blog call to action. So the call to action will be download now or buy now or promo will get expired soon. Make sure to get it now, especially in Black Friday and Cyber Monday and a lot of holidays towards the end of the year. A lot of people are looking for promotions like a promo codes to get some deals. So this will be your opportunity to actually make so much as $1,000 a month. Now, there are some affiliate links that you can use. Let's say you are not familiar with creating your own product. So assuming you are not a tech savvy and you don't want to create a product, you just want to do it, you just want to go for it. So there are affiliate links you can use. You can go to Sharesell and Sharesell has a lot of teaching products that you can promote teaching products that they give you a good commission so i'm going to share with you about some products that you can see for yourself and you should really take advantage of it the link is in the description so you can sign up with share and sell as soon as possible and start writing a blog around these links the next thing is once you write a blog once you have a product that you designed and you is ready to sell you have a website you have all images set up now it's time to promote the blog promote the the product and the way to do that you need to use social media everybody uses social media so you should too and there is a website that is called tailwind and tailwind app has 
all kinds of images and photos that you can use for Pinterest, for Facebook, for Instagram. And you also can actually to resize them and also to schedule them. So when you don't have time to sit on the computer and you are looking to get these things going, just set a time for yourself and try to design an image, Pinterest size, design an image for Instagram, design an image for Facebook. So that way you can schedule them to be actually posted on different times of day. And it can be repetitive. It doesn't have to be like once and that's it and you forget about it. You can just reuse it as many as possible, re-promote it, reschedule it as many as possible as you want. For Instagram to have a post, right, from Tailwind is good, but at the same time you want to have link in bio in case you don't have 10,000 subscribers in order to have a swipe up feature. So let's say you want to have a post like I'm showing you right now. So this post is basically has um, an image and it has all kinds of captions, but at the same time it says, check the link in bio. The link in bio that I do recommend is called Shorby. Shorby is really whatever post you have, you just create a link for that. Let's say a link to your blog, link to your Facebook, link to your Twitter, link to your LinkedIn, whatever you want this is actually people will, will go to short to your link in bio they will check your bio they'll click on the link and then they, it will direct them to whatever image of that post that you have they're going to click on it and then they're going to redirect it to the website that you created now with the blog also advantages that i see a lot of people are actually saying is to use seo seo is a search engine optimization so there is a website that is called SEM rush. So SEM rush basically helps you uh, by telling you where exactly you are lacking the keywords. We are able to search the keyword volume, search volume, how many people have searched for that keyword, what type of content you can create with that keyword. So basically when you go, you type, you search and you see the volume, I recommend to check something that is more than 1,000. If it's less than 1,000 search, you will not be able to actually grow your blog post and a lot of people are not gonna see it. So the link for SEM Rush is also in the description. The next thing is you wanna use Grammarly. Grammarly is a, is a software that basically makes sure you are grammatically correct, your spelling is good, your grammar is good, so you don't have people just commenting to you and say, I hate when people do that, when they say, oh, you misspelled that word, you know, like one word that I saw was the cinnamon. So someone just misspelled that word and the whole comments were all about that misspelled word. So you don't want to look bad. You want people to actually like coming to you and like to follow you and like to purchase from you because if you don't write something that is spelled right and it's spelled wrong, what else can be spelled wrong in your product so you don't want to be featured as uh, not competent enough than other teachers out there if you are interested there are some courses that you can actually go and check them out there is seo course a search engine optimization course how to start a blog that's a free course that you can sign up scaling with digital products learn how to create a digital product and also the blog monetization course you can check it out check it out so i hope you gain so much value from this video and also share this video with your teachers out there who are looking to make some money and need help they will really appreciate you for sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit me a like button so i know you like this video and also let me know in the comments what is the takeaway from this video that you got and i will see you on the next video